it's this time of the year again, the wipe is coming. Meaning your character gets reset to zero. Everything gone, your hideout gone, everybody has to start all over again and the everybody is the important part. Because that is gonna influence the prices on the flea market by a lot. Items that are currently not worth picking up will be sold for so much money after the wipe and understanding the whole dynamic of the early wipe can make you a fortune. And that's the topic of today's video. How does the early wipe develop? First and most important is probably the hideout. Since the hideout gets reset to zero, most people will focus on rebuilding that first. And for the first couple of stations, you only need rubles. But right after that, you need certain items. And just because everybody now needs the same items, the prices for those items go through the roof. Meaning you can take advantage of that. And all you need to do is collect simple items and sell them. We'll talk later about how to unlock the flea market the fastest way. But for now, we need to know which items are worth a lot. And for that, we need to understand how the demand develops. One of the easiest examples for that is the car battery. Because that's an item you only need for the event. As soon as that upgrade is done, you won't need another car battery, at least not one that isn't found in raid. And that's when the price drops. So for a car battery, if you don't want to use it for the mission, then selling it early is the right choice. But the flea market has a huge influence on exactly that. Now, the wipe before that one, you could unlock the flea market with level 10. And that's why even very, very simple items that got used very early in the game got sold for <laughs> a huge amount of money. I mean, you had light bulbs worth 40,000, but with this wipe, this didn't happen. But why is that? Simply because you need the light bulbs for your illumination at level 1, so pretty early in the game. And level 20 just took most people quite a while. Meaning, by the time they reached level 20, they found all the light bulbs themselves. But with the upcoming wipe, the flea market will be level 15 again. So it will be much closer to the level 10 scenario. So expect, for example, light bulbs to be pretty valuable at the beginning once more. But how are you supposed to know which items are most affected? Now for that, the simplest way would be to just check the wiki and see which items are required for early upgrades. Or you simply check your own hideout and see what upgrades you currently need. And depending on how fast you progress during the wipe, you can assume that other people need those items too. But how do you get those early upgrade items? Now one very simple way is just to visit the backside of Interchange, the Goshan store. Just use a pretty big rig, run through the whole backside and just pick up everything. And after that, leave the map via the no backpack exit. The only problem here, well, this is by now a pretty well-known method. So a lot of people are doing it, especially since Pestily did multiple videos on it. Uh, meaning you get a lot of PvP there. Which means that other routes that are maybe not as profitable as this one, but therefore more survivable, may be the better option in this case. But if you want to go to places where a lot of those items are, just expect a lot of PvP, for example, on customs on the fortress. But again, the important part here is to understand the dynamic on how those prices develop throughout the wipe. And this knowledge alone can get you a huge bonus. But of course, there's more. Because, well, crafting is a pretty big part of EFT. And for that, again, we take a look at the car battery. As you probably know, for missions, most items need to be found in raid. This means you need to find the items or craft them. And since most people are not the luckiest ones when it comes to finding certain items, me included, if you've seen my interchange video, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and that's why most people prefer to just craft the items in their hideouts. For example, the car battery for the car repair mission. And basically all you need is a tank battery. So what do you think will the tank battery price curve look like? Yeah, it's damn high at the beginning. So if you find one of those, lucky you. But of course there are more items like this, for example for the 60 rounds magazines, which you need for the proper mission and are craftable as well. But for that you need this KAK. And therefore, of course, this item is worth a lot at the beginning as well. 
Yeah, it drops pretty fast because the mission is pretty simple and early, but still. It helps you understand how those prices develop throughout the wipe and therefore make a lot of money. But of course there are items that start very low and then throughout the wipe rise in price. For example the whole moonshine production, you need water and sugar apart from the water collection level 3, which nobody has at the beginning, that's why it's not worth much, but as soon as people start building it, the demand for those items rises, and therefore also the price. I mean look at sugar, it gets up to 70,000. So those are items that you wanna keep at the beginning, and only start selling them once the demand starts rising. Same goes for a lot of fabric materials. At the beginning just nobody has the trades unlocked or the crafting stations high enough to do anything with those and therefore the price starts low and starts rising throughout the wipe just like sugar. And since we are one big community let's help each other out. If you know of any items that develop the same way or are worth a lot at the beginning share them in the comment section down below. And then let's talk about keys. Most keys don't have a limited usage, but some do. For example the marked room key, 25 usages and after that the key is gone. So there's a constant demand for those keys and therefore the price never really drops as low as with the other keys that have unlimited usages. Because well of course eventually everybody has those keys and they don't need new ones. So they really spike in price at the beginning and then just completely drop off. So you can farm keys at the beginning, especially if you find keys that are required for missions. Those sell like crazy. Certain keys get sold for half a million or more just because players really need that key to progress further in the mission tree. So if you find one of those keys and you don't want to do the mission yourself or you found a duplicate, then you can make a lot of money by selling those. Sadly, there's currently no overview on which items you should keep or on keys and so on. So the best way to check is again the wiki. So take a look at the missions and try to figure out which items, which keys are probably high in demand currently. So those are the topics about making money. And I don't exaggerate when I tell you that you can make 50, 100 millions within the first couple of weeks of this wipe. But now let's talk about level progression, because in order to unlock traders and, well, the flea market itself, you need to level up. I made a whole video specifically about that topic that covers everything you can imagine, so I highly recommend you check that out. But with this wipe we have another option that is daily and weekly missions. Now at the beginning those missions don't yield that much experience, but with each level the rewards get better to the point where those missions yield more experience than any other mission from traders. So I would really recommend that you start with the regular missions and then really focus on doing the daily and weekly missions. And once you do this, I promise you leveling has never been that easy in Tarkov before. And that's basically it. This is how you can become a very 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 wealthy PMC in the first couple of weeks into a wipe. I hope you enjoyed the video, if so don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more, I got a lot more videos like this on the channel, share it with your friends, all that YouTube stuff and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye and good luck in the new wipe.